ever thought about this? That why do so many of the first time managers find it so difficult to cope up with their present job roles? Well, from growing from an individual contributor to a manager, it is all new ball game altogether. The transition and the changes and the adapting to the situation, people find it really difficult. And because of this, I have noticed that we need to bridge this gap with some kinds of inputs. So let me uh, start with a simple question. Well, friends, what do you think that a person who is in a managerial position, leadership position, his skill sets and the individual contributor, whether he's in insurance, sales or he's in the, on the system, doesn't matter. But he was in a different job roles, his deliverables were different and he was accountable for his own performance. Whereas when he grows from this, he has to manage number of people in a team. And that is a new job role that he has to carry out as a manager, sometimes as a leader and sometimes as a mentor. So it needs a all new avenue of skills that he needs to either develop or he needs to unleash within himself. I'm sure that when a person is promoted, the managers or his seniors or the people in the decision making process of this definitely have spotted qualities of leadership in that person. So why do these first time managers then find it so difficult to cope with their new job roles? That is the question that has been intriguing people for a long time. Friends, let me give an example of any of your team members. Think about it. How does this particular team member react when you speak to him one to one? Does his reaction and his attitude or his behavior remain the same in public? And what does he perceive of himself as who he is? There is a gap, friends. There is a gap between this three aspects so when I don't understand a particular person then if I apply some stress or pressure or job responsibility for example if I delegate something which has a risk at stake which is very important his performance may go up or may go down but how do I identify that person what about him presenting in front of people if he is given that responsibility so making these subtle choices and picking the right person to give the work to be done is very important for a first time manager. And this is where most of them falter. With experience, definitely they know that who is the right person for the right job. So what are the ingredients then that he has to develop? Well, first things first, he has to develop people skills. What do I mean by people skills? I have mentioned in my previous video about emotional intelligence. That is one aspect that he has to understand, be aware of and use it in handling his team and himself. Secondly, he has to understand that what personality he is dealing with, how to speak to people, what should be the tone that he need to talk to. His communication should be assertive, not aggressive. He has to understand how to motivate his team, not carrot and stick method, but he has to find different avenues because as we said, every individual is different. So to understand that he has to be a good observer of body language, he has to be a good observer of his own team. And from time to time, he has to understand that to handle a team is also mentoring a team. They have an expectation that they want professional advice from him, some kind of help in training, coaching. But of course, he has also to understand that it is important not to do their job himself. And most importantly, don't compare your abilities that you had during your stint at that particular job role that your team, all the members will be as good as you. So that expectation can make you fail as a first time manager. Friends, if this video is useful for you, please listen to it, 
शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स इन योर ऑफिस एंड ऑफकोर्स एनी क्वेश्चन यू हैव यू कैन ऑलवेज राइट टू मी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस एपिसोड ऑन द पेप टॉक विथ मी सुदीप नाग हैव अ ग्रेट डे एंड बी वेल एंड बी सेफ